All right, so good afternoon, everyone. Good evening, whatever. So this time, we are going to uh, continue our discussion, but let's start from scratch. Now, um, <clears throat> I need you to do this one. First is, since we already have this design, so pasensya na, maura yun ay kaya na na design. So I'm not really into designing. Okay, so this is the form for pet, and the database for this one will be uh, we are going to mix, uh, actually import the, the database for this one. So I, I'll need you to run exam, your exam server. So, hold on, wait, exam. Only run. That's it. <laughs> wala how come ah uh, check na sa si basta ni wala na ako dili install na ako di gamit uh, ah yeah there so i need to open the control panel actually you can come you can directly copy this without installing it so yeah run up okay. okay and then i want you to go to the file that i have sent you sdb underscore pet new sql now we're going to import that one so click start okay click start now okay na mo nag run na mo sa control panel how are you guys running it exam yes, yes. Sir. okay and then click admin okay and then this time we are going to import that SQL. Uh, by the way, now na put ko yung mga tutorials on MySQL. So nasa my YouTube channel na ko, so you can if you want to explore more at least na may advanced idea. Now, but just in case na lang may mga na ko yung na ko tutorial on uh, MySQL. So this time, I want you guys to sige mag name tayo na naman yung database. Let's create a database and then let's name it bbpet underscore gp para dyan wall. Okay, bb underscore pet underscore gp. Uh, gp. Kamu bahala pero wala na akong ipangalan. So, bb underscore pet underscore gp and then after that, click that database and then Go to the top and then click import. So when you import, make sure to select the database or the SQL file that I have actually uh, sent you. So in my case, it's uh, here. Uh, Satoshi directory. And then I'm going to add the, the, the SQL file. And then after that, I am now going to uh important okay so let's wait for a while so that that file there that that database there is the it will correspond to the to our design here so we are going to have this uh database here i mean uh design here so we're going to connect that database now that we just created and then later on i'm going to show you what will uh what's inside of that so nana shay there are that is different tables so last time we are just working on one table so this time it will be it will have different tables so you as you can see now like table breed gender owner pet and type so don't mind the kaning mga grace who view owner info and other pet info something like that this are virtual table actually they are not table so and we are going to create our own uh, our own but this time something like nanay table gra mo ng mga uh, concrete or original table so click on this database and go to uh then designer okay 
and the designer, you will see the uh, ETRD of our database. Now, the entity relationship diagram model of our database. So, this is where we, we can see our database. Okay. So, Okay, so here, let me just rearrange it. No. Yeah. Here, rearrange na to ka. We have the owner here. Okay. And then we have the type. So don't mind this uh, other penicilla there because they, 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 these are not the equals. So balik ta tere. Arrange. Anyway, it doesn't matter kung arrange or not, pero mas okay kung makita na to na naka-arrange na to ang the equals. Okay, so right here, this is uh, the our ERD. So this is just part of a database now. So we only have like uh, more or less two tables here that are important, the owner and the pet. And then we just created other tables for us to, like the database, kasi naman ko na yung mga normalization stages. But I'm not going to be discussing that to you because you don't have the, uh, any idea for that. But what do you, I am going to discuss to you is the relationship between the pet and the owner. It means that an owner has many pets and uh, each pet is owned by an owner. Okay, and then owner has gender and gender is assigned to many owners. The same with owner, uh, gender to pet and then the breed to pet and then each breed, uh, breed has type. So meaning to say, uh, our pet has type, however, it is good if we are going to relate the type to breed. Because like for an instance, uh, the, the breed is Persian, the type is actually cat. Okay, so if the breed is like, uh, let's say Python, the type is like snake. So, nadri ang yahang, ang relationship between the pet. So, pwede na type, each pet na ay type, pero mas okay siya na ang breed is dependent on the on the type. So, that is the only atong database. Pwede na itong i-save. And, oh, yan, no? i-save lang na ito ang kanil ERT ha, para na uh, parang the next time around na ito nang i-visit ang ERT na ito, dili na ito siya mag-rearrange. Now, uh, are you still there? Yes, sir. Guys? Okay, good. Okay, so now uh, I, I want you to go to your uh, terminal or your your uh, command line. So, let us command line. Okay, because we are going to test our what do we call this one? Uh, test our scripts before nato siya iputang sa uh visual basic CD. so let's go together so my sulu root dash p ayan. and then show data faces so let's use the db underscore pet jp ayan. okay and then show tables Okay, so here na uh, we are able to access now our database. Okay, so from there, let's uh, describe our TPL pet. From what we know, based on the fields here of our TPL pet, uh, that's the same thing we actually see here in our form. No? So na uh, age, name, though. Uh, the type is actually in a separate table, but again, 
as I've told you, a uh, pet has type and each type has breed. And what we are going to do here is that every time we select on a specific type, na yung mga breed na mukawas tiring and as well as the owners. So kung mapansin ni mo, uh, this comes from different tables here. Okay. So what we are going to do with this form is that we are going to manage different tables in this particular code or in this particular form. Okay, so now let's get started by uh, creating a, uh, what we call this one, a module. So last time we create a class-based program. This time we're going to create a module. So to start with, I want you to create a module Okay, so right click, add, and then module. So delete class. Module is a global uh, setting of parang codes. So meaning all of the functions or methods that we are going to declare in this particular uh, portion of our program will be called without instantiating it. Unlike sa <clears throat> class kasi, we need to instantiate the object of that class. So this time, we're going to use module. So the good thing about module is you don't have to, to instantiate an object for once that a module ta. Okay, so let's say for an instance, we are going to name our module as my pet. Okay, my pet. And then add. All right. Uh, are you still following? Let me know. Form, form to sir, form. Uh, module po, ah, module. Oh, Windows form then, sir. Module, delete Windows form, module. Hello. Hello, Hello guys. Sir. Are you following? Nag-follow yes, mo, wala. Be honest. Wala, sir. <laughs> Mauna. Tanaw na mo video. Ah, sige. Alright. Yes, so, this time, uh, this time, for those who follow the, okay, so, imports, uh, we have here mysql.data.mysql client. So, the same atong buha to last time. Okay. So, this time, we have here, uh, let's have here private. So, a private na to siya. So private uh, s let's say dbcon where there is anything but this time let's have my SQL function. Actually, we can copy paste this one para delete na tamat sa na. So let's copy paste this one. Katong nasa pet na module yapon and then okay, go open that pet that pb and then once you open it, copy that one and then paste it uh, directly here in your program yeah okay all right <clears throat> hello guys yes sir okay yes now so let's create yes. a function to connect our connection so public so sa pag module ta i would suggest na uh you're going to name your module starting with the underscore so based kasi on my experience, underscore would tell us na uh, like at this, no, this is our, uh, kasi ang module, you don't have to call a, or you don't have to instantiate an object. So by calling underscore automatically, you would, uh, parang, parang that's a naming convention in, in which you, uh, that's actually part of the module once you call underscore. So public sub, EP, let's say, connection okay or tp open depends on yung i ano so this time uh let's have here the try and touch okay and then i would like you to to add finally so by the way cutting finally no matter what happened so di ba naman tayo try and catch so i catch ang error and then finally is pag mag error ang catch block will will uh, will actually catch the error. So if walay error, then therefore walay 
uh, nothing is actually going to be executed in the catch. But with the finally, regardless of error siya or wala error, the finally will be called uh, always all the time. So finally is again, it is a block in our try and catch where it is always called automatically. And sa database, kailangan na to i-close always na to ang database. Regardless kung nag-open, nag-save lang kag-file, nag-edit kag-file, nag-search kag-file, you'll need to close your database. So dapat, akong database should be closed all the time. So we use this finally to close our database. But before that, let's have here the DB code equals new MySQL. Okay, so MySQL connection and then let's put here the str con right and then we're going to open our connection so open and then uh, we can have something here like message box that show test connection successful okay and there, okay, so what is spelling? Connection. All right, so after that, we're going to copy paste this one. It is uh, like message box, okay, copy paste that one. And then we are going to put this one in our uh here and then let's have an, an error signature here let's say this is error 101 this is like uh db uh sorry db connection okay and then let's have here dx that um message so we can why did tamag putang of error connection? Like uh, for an instance, I mean, why did tamag putang of ibon alam ta of isata ibon thirty or thirty? Claro lang mo thirty, guys. Mister Sir, claro lang one thirty. Kaning kaning nakita niyo sa screen claro lang okay ra. Uh, pwede pa siya okay, sir, pwede pa. Dak and gamay, sir. 150. Ayan. So, this yeah, time, okay. mag-nimo ta o message, error message. So, this, let's say we have here, uh, by, val, er, uh, error, or er, uh, error message, ano alam. And, sub, error message. So we're going to copy and paste this one. Okay, paste it here and then put the error message here. Okay. So that, okay. Now here we are going to call error message. So you can use this uh what we call this one method in error message that we created. Let's say for an instance, um you have a parang universal parang what they call this one form na you don't want to use message box the built-in message box like na amoy form na buhato ninyo so let's say uh, pwede ninyo siya gamitin na i-display ninyo ang error message dito sa kato na form now, para like at least diba, as we all know kaning message box it's it cannot be customized so, kung sa tong design niya, mo to ang all and to iyang appearance. So, mas okay kung natay message box na ang iyang appearance post pod is the same with sa appearance sa uh, ato ang UI. So, kinahana na mga ano ba, no? I, I, I don't know if na uh, uh, sabtan niyo but in the future, you will do that. No? So, this time, we are going to close our connection here instead of ito na to siya i-close dere. Okay, normally dere na to ina-close ang connection. Okay? 
But again, as I have explained you earlier, I have explained you earlier, when we get to close our connection, it would be better if na siya sa finally. Why? Na kasi instances na while naka-execute na to ang program, nag-run, and then let's say nag-error siya diri, and then nag-try and catch ta, always na na siya naka-open, hindi na na ma-close kasi diri lang nag-error. So meaning, uh, pag uh, open, na nag-error siya something, then direct, direct so siya diri, and there is no opportunity na ma-close ni mo ang imuhang database. So ang pinaka, ano na is, you need to restart your computer or you need to stop the execution of your application or this application. So para para dili para you will avoid that from happening or prevent that from happening in your program, you'll need to close your so whenever there is an error here is execute niya ni at the same time execute niya ang the uh, aning closing part. So now I would suggest every time you create or close mo og database ibutang yo sa finally Okay. All right. So we have now the open and close. So at tuta sa tu ang pet. I know there is sa tu ang design asan matutong design. Okay, there is sa tu ang pet VB design. So ira na to na siya, and then I mean he click na to na siya, and then right here. We just call here the underscore db connection. So as you can see, you don't have to create an instance of my pet because it's now created as a module. Na nakuha niyo class? Sir. Ni pa sa tong gibuat last time kay mag mag ano pa talagang team p as new pet. Di ba mo natin kibuhat last time? But this time, you don't have to do that because whatever is inside of our MyPet is automatically called because it's a module. Okay? So now, i-review sa nato itong MyPet kung tama ba itong database. So data. Actually, yung name sa itong database di ay DB Pet underscore JP. Okay? Let's run the program, start, check na ito kung connection successful ba siya. So, test connection successful, there. So, okay na itong program. Okay, now, let's um, let's create a another uh, method. Uh, am I too fast or I need to ah, slow down? Kung saan yun pag-test balik, sir? Kung saan yun pag-test balik? What do you mean test pagbalik? Uh, kung, tawagon. O oh, tawagon, kung successful nga nasulod tong ano, tong pet. Sa, ay, okay na ka dere. Okay na yung program. Uh, okay na yung code dere. Kulang ko sa baba, sir. Kalitan, sir. Okay. Uh, Good. Okay na. Message box. Show. Sir, nakoy pangutan na. Yes, module gyapon uh, ng FR form pet sir no module gyapon. Dili, form na siya. Ay. Sige, uh, sir. Form na siya UI form. <coughs> okay na sa. Salamat sa. Okay na? Yes po sir. Salamat sir. Ah, sige. Okay. So, now Mark, display ta, uh, okay na ta daw, display na ta record. So, katotong, nakabuhat naman ta ni last time, na wala lang yun akong file, pero sa inyo ba sinaan mo? So, we'll have here, uh, public void display records. So, again, let's uh, start from scratch, no? At Java naman noon ko. Wait for a while. Public void. Kung <laughs> lang yun ay nagtalandungan, na pa'y Java, na pa'y C++, na pa'y... Android, sagul na niya kung kuan. So, let's have here uh, Vival, uh, SQL, and then uh, as let's string, and then we are also going to define here a data grid as data grid view, no? So, data 
quick field. Ayan. Then, after that, so, mag-try and catch nga punta dali with finally. Okay. And then, so, this time, uh, what we will do is that uh, we are going to open. So, DB, sige, uh, i-focus na ko siya. So, DB, con that open so we need to open again kind of close naman ta dito sa finally and then after that we are going to instantiate the uh, sql okay so sql at da dai so tik sa dito malita mag add so da is equal to new my sql data adapter okay so right here you'll need to put sql as well as ttp connection so meaning uh, what uh, what is this all about is that the query that you're trying to uh, invoke and then within that certain connection. So dp equals new, sorry, new data table. So after that, we are now going to fill the records, whatever is, okay, so pasabot aniya sa bisaya apagastoria is that Whatever is na basa ni uh, after reading after uh, reading the SQL data adapter, let's say nag select from uh, PBL beta, select from PBL owner. Kung sa tong records or sa tong query ni mo dito that connection and then if that connection uh, query is valid sa kanat na connection, is store to niya sa data table, okay? Sa DA. Tapos after that i fill niya kung sa na, na butang o na-populate sa data adapter, iya tong ipasa kay data table. After that, si data grid, which is the DG, is this one, kanidere, is, is uh, we are going to put a data or records there. Okay, so meaning ipasa-pasa lang tong records na napasa from SQL data adapter going to data table, and then from data table going to data grid. Okay, because we cannot go or call directly data grid that data source equals to data adapters. So we'll need a data table for that. Okay, and then after that, once it's already okay, so we can now have here error message. Tapos, uh, let's have here error signature for error 102 uh, display records okay and then we have here ex that message yeah so if asa lang niya dito kung may error then that is a message box that you may display same error and then don't forget have your db con that flows all right so there you are we're done with display records so are you done Hello. Are you done? Yes, sir. Okay, good. So now we are now going to go to our form here and then let's have your display records. Select. Okay. So select from PBL web. Okay, and then pasa na to si Jose Pangalan sa itong data grid. Check sa na pa, Jose Pangalan sa data grid na to. So, DG pet. So, we have here DG pet. DG pet. There. So, when we run this program, after connection successful, we now have the records of pet here. Okay? So, uh, by then, you can change it to like uh, TPL owner. Okay, run at our program. You have here uh, the owner pet. And then, pwede na itong i-change into like, uh, palik na dreha, check na to ang select from TBL gender. So, yeah, TBL gender. Punta na ito dreha, TBL gender. So, kaning display records, you can call this as uh, anytime you want. And then, pwede siya different table. Okay, so right here, nakat-call ka gender. So, pwede po ta mag-call of, um, instead of gender, pwede ta mag-call to TPL, let's say, uh, breed. Okay, yan, yeah, tira na to tira. 
Okay? And then, test connection successful. So, great. But again, syempre, this, uh, this sign here is for pet. So, what we are going to call in this particular uh, program is TPL pet. Okay? So, question? Nasa. <laughs> now, Hello? Nasa. Ay, uh, usaman. Man. Sir, ay, tatapang ko ni sir. <laughs> Nag... Share now. Mm -hmm. Ani sir ba? Nag-error na dito kay sir. Sige daw. Ani sir, anong dibdib? Ato daw kasi imong my pet. Mali mag spelling siguro imong dibdib connection. Dako man imong C, so gamay man imong C dito. Ah, oh. dibdib connection. Ay, wa imong underscore wala nang tapad sa bulag. Nagpulag sila. Ay, di, dapat sila mag-ulag. Okay. Isa dapat mag-ulag. O, para mag-work sila, dapat isa mag-ulag. Uh, okay, okay. Sige, sige. Maulang to, sir. Salamat, sir. Okay, good. Sige. Good, no? So, good thing. Nag-follow. Girls, nag-follow mo, girls. Ang boys na po karoon ang nagpa-impress. Ang uh, girls, ang butla. Nag-follow ba ni sila? Okay. Sige. Now, mm, later, balikan nato na for this time. Uh, I'm going to make this uh, query of yours, I mean module of yours, na, na flexible. Now, flexible siya, pwede siya different database. So, we can, uh, I want you guys, kato nag-follow, copy-paste this one. So, uh, public sub TV connection, copy ninyo na until end sub and then paste it here. Okay, paste ninyo. And then, the putang tadriog by Val TV name. So, DB name is uh, data, like mag-set, no? Mag-set set database name. So, meaning mag, uh, we will asking, uh, we will be asking the user to assign a database name. Na unsa na database name ang iyahang i-assign or iyahang i-connect. Kasi na instances na na we are work, we are going to work with three tables, ah, uh, three databases, four databases. Most likely, no, but big projects, pwede ka magtawag of different database, uh, database file. So, kanimang good atong ibuhat rin na file, uh, they, kanina method, every time mag-connect, every time mag-paranta na program, this will only connect this database. So, kanilang ang i-connect ana na database. Now, what if mag-connect ka to other database. So, pwede ba na siya, sir? Yes, pwede. By using this one. So, atong buha to, we are going to have your DP, DP name. Okay? So, DP name. Ayan. So, actually, maula na to iputang dira. Okay? And then, this time here, pao na to isya. Okay? Let's remove it from here. So, it's the aircon. Okay? And then, iputang na to tere ang str uh, ang db underscore pet so meaning to say kaning db connection ato has two uh, two ways i mean this is like polymorphic no? polymorphism duha ka book siya pero naka overload lang siya it's the uh, the first one is ang iyang tawagon ini uh, ani is db underscore pet that uh, underscore jp while this one naman is based on what the user is going to connect. Kung unsa na pangalan sa database ang i-connect niya in this particular database. Example, I have here, uh, di ba nagpakita mo ko kanina o database, mga database kanina. So let's say, natay database din na DB person, DB payroll. So let's say, tawago na ako ng DB payroll. Okay? So, I can do that in my program by going to for pet and then right here, I just have to put here db payroll. So, if um, successful ang pagtawag na ko sa db payroll, I'm gonna check that on my uh, exam tanaw na ko kung sa isulod anak siya o sa isulod anak niya na uh, check sa anak ko ha. Wala pa ko ipuha, okay? 
So, I have here TBL employee. Ayan. So, TBL employee. So, TB payroll and TBL employee. Now, going back here, TB payroll. If I'm going to click here, but error ning display records. Why? Because wala niya nakita ning TBL underscore. But, but we are able to connect. Okay? So, let's say for an instance, using that, that database, TB payroll, and then itawag na ko tong employee. So, I can actually connect another database and display records from that database in my program. So, that makes it polymorphic. No? So, atong database is pwede siya mag-create or atong application pwede siya mag-connect of any other database. Okay? Question. My question. Sir, asa ito gibutan itong kuhan ka ni sir kato yung kaduang DB connection ka ni sir? Ubos lang yapo siya. Sa ubos lang niya. Uh, mura lang kung siya method overloading katong OOP na ito. Uh, hindi mo lang tag-other version sa iya ha. And then makakonect ka using ikaw mag, ang user ang mag-type kung saan nga database yung i-connect. So, itanggalan na ito siya dire. And then dire is kani siya ang i-connect ani ni by default katong uh, db underscore pet jp. Ang kaning isa is depende sa unsay i-connect ana sa ano ni user. Like kung sa i-assign ana ni user. Alright? Yes, okay. Okay, so now let's proceed to this one. So, kung napansin ninyo sa ito ang database, if i na ito ato, ato ang like program, and then, uh, yeah, pwede na ito na ning tanggalon ang test connection successful. Actually, pwede na ni wala. Okay, kay hasul-hasul rin sa itong kinabuhin, no? So, let's na nato iparan display records. Yan. So, however, kung napansin ninyo, Atong program or atong records sa database sa table pen are at some point at some point okay ang records so bad pet name pet age pet price pero kung mapansin mo ang owner one two five tapos Ang gender, 1, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 1. Yeah, ang pet breed kay 1, 1, 2, 1, 5, 1, 5. So, kan eh, mag uh, mag medyo maglisod ko sa inyo explain. However, this is what we meant about uh, database or entity relationship diagram or relational database. So, to give you an idea on what is that, inani na siya. So, ang database, connected na siya, each table should be related to any other table. So, DB, pet, balik sa natin ha, asa na itong DB, uh, asa na ito? Ayan, DB, pet, JP, blah, blah, blah. If I'm going to click DB, pet, and then I'm going to click this owner ID 2 here, it will direct me to the owner name, kung tinsa sa to information ni owner name. Meaning to say, kanada si owner ID, si Kyle din na 21, tapos yung gender, i-click na ko na male day na siya. Ayan. Kasi ang value na gender ID. Meaning, nakakonect siya every table to the other table. So, kanada si 21, kay si Paul daw na siya. Tapos, if I'm going to expand, unsa, unsa may ano ni Paul, like unsa information pa ni Paul. So, if i-click na ko si Paul, Ang information ni Paul is makita din mo sa owner table na uh, yung ida 29, yung age, yung male, and then buhangin. So, if we go to TPL owner, makita na to ang tanan record sa tong owner. And then, sa ito ang pet, dito na to siya i-assign that this pet is an ownership of this particular owner. So, if we are going to check, can you see 1008 or 1010? are both ownership of table nine, uh, owner 19, which are which is si Chester. Okay? And then, uh, the same with sa breed. Okay? So, nakakonect ko na siya sa table na breed. 
Ayan. So, kung i-check na to ni Chicken daw ni si Paula. Okay? Pag i-click na to ni siya na Chicken, tapos, unsa daw na siya na type okay, bird. Ayan. So, inana ang database. Okay? So, database does not work alone. You don't work alone uh, a table, one table alone. It should be different tables connected na siya sa mga other tables. Now, if you are going to look at it, sa atuang record, sa database, sa table pen, okay, select that. Select. Select from PBL pet. So, you can see there na ang iyahang records the same, of course, the same, no? Ang iyang records are ano siya, meaningless. No? Meaningless, meaning, uh, what is this all about? Kung saan man owner ID, what is this, uh, what is this pet gender, what is this uh, pet breed? If that is what you are going to show to your customers or to your users sa itong program, let's say, irana itong isa itong program, and that's what we see, no? that's what the user sees, like, sa maning owner ID. Kitsa na ini siya si 24. Kitsa na ini siya si ano. Kitsa na ini siya si Brie, blah, blah, blah. Okay? So, para masamta ninyo, ang database dapat inahanan na siya, no? Na ay relationship o na foreign key, primary key. Pero mag-resolve lang mong sapot na na because you don't have that idea. Uh, you don't have that idea and, uh, for now. But again, let's stick to it na need na siya required as a database. Now, Karon, uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to display meaningful, okay, meaningful records of the owner here. That instead of owner ID one, two, five, and Anna, okay, we are going to display the real name of the owner here instead of owner ID lock. Okay, so what we are going to do is, mauna ni mag-invoke tag mga uh, advanced SQL statement. And this is through join statement. So to do that, let's say describe sa nato si si TBL pet and then describe po nato si TBL uh, let's say owner. So kana lang sa atong i uh, owner o pet na sa atong i-combine. Okay, so we do here select so i-display lang nato si owner uh, si pet ID Okay. pet id p dot pet name a p dot pet age so example kana lang to display and then together with the owner tapos i appeal na to ang name ni owner at the same time o dot owner address na call ana Okay, so expected ani mo display ang information na ni pet na ID, name, age, and as well as pangalan ni owner and owner address. But this time, you will need to join the tables pet. Okay, so by the way, pwena si P, P means it's an initial uh, alias, no? alias of pet. TBL pet. Kasi if you don't want to put uh, alias of TBL pet, like to represent the pet and CP, kailangan ni mo ni is, isulat yung TBL pet. Like TBL pet that pet underscore uh, ID, TBL pet that pet uh, that pet underscore name. So para di ng tamang ina na, taas na kayo atong script, we do this guy, uh, we do this way. Okay. Kanang P, sir, unsa na siya sa system, ano na na siya, system, murag, murag ano na, automatic na na siya, sir. Dara, sa okay, ikaw mag, ikaw mag, ikaw, ikaw, ikaw mag, ano na, so, P kay pet man, so, P na po siya. So, ikaw din, sige, sige, sir. Uh, so, join PBL owner O, kay owner man, O man akong igamit nila. Okay, on, hey, so, tanaw ni mo on saang relationship ni table pet o ni table owner. So, nai owner ID and then owner ID. So, primary key foreign key relationship. So, you have here P that owner 
owner ID equals o dot owner ID. Okay, enter na to na. So if uh, we're going to look at it, our pro our query now is working uh, successfully or properly. You have here the name of the pet, the name of the uh, the age of the pet plus the owner of the, uh, the pet and then the uh, owner of the address. Kung makita na to, itong 1008, and siya si Paula, ang iyahang, uh, di ba, ganina pareha si 19 uh, ID, owner ID, which is si Chester. Save, buhangin. So, kana siya, it's, it looks like redundant, balik-balik, pero it's actually not kasi they are actually connected with this uh, table uh, values here, uh, owner ID and owner ID na primary key foreign key relationship. So this is what we are going to do now. I-copy na to siya. Okay, actually, pwede na sa mag-write on that directly here. Okay, sa itong program. However, i-test lang na ko kung working ba ito ang program kasi mas okay i-test na to siya dira. But actually, kung ako, pwede na ko direct so direct. Like, i-copy paste na ako na, uh, like, direct ko mag-select P that pet o ana akong buhat ko pet name blah 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 so pero without testing it kung working ba siya or not so since taas wala na code maghimo na lang tag isa ka ano dre str query equals let's say and then akong query str like query equals okay copy paste na to siya paste and then equals ayan. Then after that say str query na itong ibutang dili. So str query. Ayan. So if you run your program now, this would have records na the same sa ato ang project dili sa uh, command line. So anak siya. Okay. So that takes that what uh, what is actually going to take pag uh, uh, mag ano ta, uh, database uh, integration uh, database integration so you have the knowledge basically of a database plus then of course the language so yeah that's it so of course if you guys want to like this will be really medyo taas yun siya na script like, balik na to ang table pet, ha? And then, na ng owner. So, right here, is, so, i, ipasok na to. Ito ng ID. So, you have owner, uh, owner, okay, ang owner name. Okay. Uh, I sorry, pet name sa day own. Okay, una ako na itong pet name. Tapos, o dot owner name. Okay, and then, tagalo na itong address. Actually, we don't need the address as well as connected na sila. Mag-capture na ito ng address ni owner. So, na na tayo age. Okay? So, this time, Kailangan na po na ito i-combine si gender, okay? Kay si gender man, it's also a, kung itanaw na ito ng TBL pet, okay, medyo dagat, kayo ni siya gano'n, no? So, gender here, ayan, 1, 2, blah, 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 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. So, we'll need to, we'll need to connect naman or join naman gender and pet. So, this time, para makonect na to siya, we'll need to have, let's say, g dot gender. Check sa nato ang gender. Kung sa'y naa sa gender. So, ang nasa gender base sa itong ano is gender title. Ayan. Ang ihag male, female. If gusto na to i-display ni si male, female, tamito na to ni gender title. Tawa to yung structure. And then, sa pet pod, check na to kung sa'y ihag pangalan pet gender. Pet gender iyahang column sa gender is, check na to, gender ID. So, this time, we'll have your gender title from PBL pet, P, join, PBL owner, 
bla 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 tapos join na punta PBL gender G okay, on e dot okay usay pangalan ng pet gender so pet gender in this case sa owner kay pareha owner ID so mas dali siya but this time not saying na dali pero kani siya is lahi siya it's because ahi og pangalan sa table ang isa pet gender ang isa G uh, like column name no sa isa pet gender ang isa G the gender ID so that's why on I would suggest na kung sa tong primary key ni mo then i-relate mo siya to the other table uh, using that foreign key dapat pareha sila og uh, column name okay so okay let's uh, have pet price so title P that pet price P that uh, status tapos tapos yung isa breed okay so tanaw na po na to ng breed okay so medyo libog no kahit tanaw na to ang breed ara so dapat maputang na to si breed name no so breed name breed tapos breed ID ang iyahang primary key tere breed Breed, 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 breed. Pet breed. O pet breed po siya. So, we'll need to to be that breed name ba to? Name, no? Okay. And then, i-join na po na to si join PPL breed B. Oops. Mali tayo ko ang uh, dapat B ni siya. B. B that bit name. Okay. And then B or B that pet pet read on okay. Oh, sorry. B, a B on B that pet read equals um, I know, not pet pet read. Pet uh, breed, uh, pet breed lang eh, tama, pet breed okay. on or equals to G dot, ah uh, sorry oh, not G but G dot breed ID, tama ba? breed ID ba ito dito? so check ako, breed ha you have here breed ID so breed ID, enter there, so Working ato ang query. So again, i-copy na po nato siya diri. Like, you need to copy this one. Copy and then paste in here. So we upgrade na to atong query by that one. So, yeah. So that's how you do it. And run your program you have here. There you are. A question. Nakuha, nalibo. <laughs> nalibo ka, sir? Hindi na kaya. Hindi na kaya. Hindi na kaya. Hindi na kaya. Hindi na And did you know, napadunay, 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 type. Niya ang type, like padunay na table na connected sa bridge. Oh, lahat na po na siya na table. Uh, kung gusto Pero ka, i-appin niyo na. Gapon siya, i-join gapon siya sa katong ko niya, sir. Mm -hmm. I-join gapon niyo siya. Like, for an instance, uh, utang niyo ha, breed. Itapat niyo si breed name. And then, like, uh, e, ah, sorry, type man ito, no? E dot type. Ito ito ang pangalan. Type. Type name. Type. Next. So, munang dapat you know better, you know, you must know your your database well. Munang na-describe, munang uh, kailangan yun kapalo ka sa yung database. Yeah. So, and then right here, i-join na ni muna siya. Join. So, B da, a B na da, so B da, read, si C, read, ID man ko. Dili si pet ang connected kay type. Ang connected kay type, kay si read, dili si pet. Pero, ma-display na to si unsa to na breed siya, unsa to na type siya using that breed. So, kung mapansin mo, si type, si type ID, 
Okay, can you see type? Connected na siya directly kay Breed. Okay, awa ha? Si type, connected na kay Breed. Which is si Breed, connected kay Pet. So, tulog ka, degree iyang relationship. So, ayun, inaano lang. Breed ID is equal to T dot Breed ID. Join PBL type P on wait lang na. On yung Breed ID. Breed ID type I, okay. Type ID and then this is type ID. Ayun, type ID. So, type ID din siya. Type ID equals to T dot type ID. Doon. So, may balani mo kung dog pa siya, cat pa siya. So, this is like third degree relationship sa imuhang database. So, ayan. Kami paste din mo na siya. Because we need to do this one. Because this is what our program requires. Kasi sa itong program, dapat ma-display na ito ang tinood na gender value, ang type, ang breed, ang owner. So, kailangan, mawag yun na itong, mawag yun na ang mag-reflect nila din ka itong mga numbers. So, may nana siya, class. Yeah, oh man. So, ba? Ba? Okay. Yun. Okay. Sige. So, call pa. Kita, alas size na. Pwede naman siguro, sir. Tama lang, sa siguro na, sir. Pa-absorb ba sa may anak, sir? Pa-absorb po. Maghatag na lang po tutorial ani. And then, at the same time, kaning video, siya ako dili maano, no? Para i-follow-follow po ninyo over the weekend. Yes, sir. Okay. And then, hapit, pag, hopefully by next week, makuman na nato tanang topics. Makuman na nako ni, mag-project making na ta, and then, I'll, uh, biyaan na ta mo, biyaan na dyan, no? So, I leave it to you na para makafocus na mo sa project. That is why, sa, di, sa data structure nato, nag, uh, nag, uh, start na po ko record record para focus na lang po ko sa recording, and then, okay naman siguro ang, Okay na mo sa idea na ma-record na lang na ako akong self tapos dito na lang mo magtanaw if na lang mo yung mga questions anyway you can just ask naman directly to me di ba Yes sir So sir yes, okay sir. na mo kung tayo sa uh, recording sarang imong i-send sir um during